This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of world-class software like PDF Pen for Mac, PDF Pen Pro for Mac, PDF Pen for iPhone and iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander for Mac, and Text Expander for iPhone and iPad. Learn more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at NAB in Las Vegas. We're in the OWC booth talking to Larry O'Connor about everything that OWC does. And Larry, you guys do so much. Uh, what I know you're bringing on new stuff this time. What are we seeing no, new that is uh, for this year? At the show, uh, we debuted our Viper, so a new Thunderbolt 3 uh, SSD array. Super, super fast. Uh, single solutions do over 2,000 megabytes a second. That's I think that's kind of it's kind of snappy. On top of that, though, we're pushing, and this is you know thanks to software technology and you know, taking advantage of you know the Max, uh, how to say, multiple uh, Thunderbolt uh, channel capability as well. We're pushing over 4,000 megabytes a second, you know, with our Viper arrays. So software rate in Viper equals you know up to uh, 4,600 megabytes a second read, over 4,000 megabytes a second write. Super fast, and that's super. Actually, we got people. Uh, who look at this and say you Photoshop that, or it's you know that's just a gif. I said no. I mean this is running live. You know the Vipers are you know right behind the the machine. I mean this is this is real performance for folks that really have heavy editing. Whether you're doing VR stitching, doing you know working on 5K, 8K video. Now this is next generation stuff, and this next generation stuff is going to be shipping here in just another a few weeks. So it's next gen it's next generation today, and it's the fastest fastest uh, Thunderbolt three products period out there. So it's it's a it's a an SSD array. Uh, or RAID, how many disks and, you know, tell me about how it all works. Yeah, the Viper has four, four MVME blades, you know, per solution. And then to, to get to a single unit, you know, plugs and plays, and you're looking again, 2,000 to 2,600 megabytes a second. If you really need speed, you can take advantage of both Thunder Bay, Thunderbolt channels, rather, and using soft RAID, you can push it up to, uh, well, again, over four, over four gigabytes a second. That's, that's kind of staggering. Yeah, and yeah, it's... It's certainly groundbreaking. And in a, a portable solution, bus powered, you know, single blade NVMe OWC, you know, our Envoy Pro EX uh, for Thunderbolt 3 is 1200 megabytes a second uh, write and up to about 2500 megabytes a second read. And that's just a, a single single cable solution. You can go with you on the road, You're very sick, very portable, and very, very, very fast. So we're really excited about the Thunderbolt 3 products that we're introducing. We also have our Thunder Bay 6 which will allow up to six uh, spinning drives, six three and a half inch drives, up to 72 terabytes of capacity. Plus that will begin shipping uh, in August uh, August or September this year with software eight six. And we have actually an SSD accelerator inside. So using with, full, with dual drive redundancy, so you can use, lose up to two drives, have a really high performance of about a thousand megabytes a second you know, from, well, for lack of a better way, you know, lower cost spinning drives. So a thousand megabytes a second, the ability to lose two drives in a solution that you know is still using hard drives. Wow, wow! I'm I'm looking at these numbers and I, it's 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 kind of hard to imagine. I mean, it makes perfect sense since it's SSD based, but at the same time, that's just a lot of data moving through. But I guess that's the world we live in today. Absolutely, positively, everything's that is getting bigger. The requirements for editing require faster and higher sustained throughputs. And, and I say sustain. I mean, these aren't peak. I mean, this is a that's an AGA test running. I mean, these this is these are real world numbers. You know, not something that we've you know, found the best way to speak and try to, to show something fancy. I mean, this is real world that really delivers. So it's fun stuff and it's really fast stuff. <laughs> um, what, we have this little gem here, which is that is our uh, USB uh, Type C travel dock. So it gives you HDMI. It gives you a USB. Gives you a card reader. Actually, you have two Type A ports, so you can charge your iPhone, can connect a standard drive, bus power drive, whatever you may need to connect via USB, plus the display, plus uh, you know to pass through your Apple power adapter. This will bus power off your computer, or plug your Apple adapter into it, or another USB C power adapter to power it and the computer. So very versatile, very compact. Gives you the, the primary ports you need when you're on the road. So how, how and it's under fifty dollars. That's the best part right there. How much is the transition to USB-C meant to you all? I, I mean, I know you you were heavy into Thunderbolt, and like everybody was, and then we have this new thing that everybody's now sort of trying to figure out how to patch it all together. I think it's more confusing than anything else for the end user because you have Type-C that's now Thunderbolt 3 and USB 3.1 Gen 2. 
uh, or Gen 1. The MacBook 12 inch, uh, we've been shipping our USB-C dock now for almost uh, about a year and a half. And that's an, exce I mean, that's an exceptionally capable product. I mean, that gives you once again, one, you have no ports on your MacBook 12 inch, and this gives you everything you need to connect video, USB type A, audio, you know, more, and, and also powers the computer. You know, single dock solution. But in terms of the transition, the biggest thing is seeing that people understand Type C on this is Thunderbolt. You can connect Thunderbolt 3 devices as well as uh, USB Type C devices. Now you can't connect, you can't, oh, I won't even go into it. it, it it's, it's a great port, it's a universal port, and as far as what it means to us, I mean, it's, it's, it's mainly transition to make sure that we're not really worried about coming up with a thousand different Type C devices. I think we have a lot of the Type C covered. It's more making sure the transition is there to support the devices everybody already has, and make sure that since only a few machines today have Type C, you know, we're still supporting Thunderbolt 2. We're still supporting the original Thunderbolt, original USB, and making sure the devices can be interoperable. I think that's an important point. That you know, if you spend a little bit of money on a dock. Nothing is is now out of date. You just have something sitting in between it. But I have I have yet to have any issues with any hardware plugging into one of those docks, connecting to my USB machine, USB C machine. It all just it all just works. So yes, it's one more adapter, but it also means I have a lot of things that I didn't have to rebuy. Absolutely, positively, honestly, it's just another connection. I mean, Type C really doesn't change. It changes what you connect through it, but the protocols are still you know, very standardized. The one thing Type-C has is power delivery, and as far as what that's really meant to us, I mean, power delivery is still, we'll say it's a, it's a moving uh, target, but it's it's finally stabilizing where you know, we know the devices we build aren't going to be broken by you know, the next fix that somebody else, I mean, there's, they fix, we fix, you know, it's not really, I shouldn't say they fix, it's still an evolving standard, so power delivery today is at least getting to a point where we know that what we're shipping today is going to continue to work with the OS update tomorrow, the day after, and the day after. We've been kind of going back and forth for the last six months, and I think we're, I think we're really good shape. 60 watt power delivery has been stable for a year. Now the higher power for the new machines, which are 80, well, it's 87 watt. You know, we've seen that stabilized to where supporting it is not going to be the, uh, the headache it's been for a little while. You know, there's lots of. I mean, the bottom line is there's lots of product out there. They don't care about power delivery. They don't care about power uses. They don't care how well they. They're not even really using improved chipsets. You know, we build stuff that works and we support it, and we don't just say, you know, sorry, somebody else's problem. So I'm really happy from our standpoint. You know, we're supporting power delivery. All our devices are fully fully compatible and fully certified for either passing the PD or providing it, and that's becoming easier today. <laughs> Certainly for the new machines. The 15 inch has been fun. So. so where do we send folks to learn more about all this, see when it comes out, find out what it costs? Sure. Check out uh, OWCDigital.com. We've got all this and actually a whole lot more up there. And we just got Best of Show today for our Thunderbolt 3 dock, which we're extremely excited about. That's been a long time. Well, it's been a long time coming. Uh, and that's power delivery has certainly been a, a factor and a piece of the equation. And you know, timing is everything. And within, we're now on a uh, less than a two-week countdown to shipping that product. So thank you for your patience, and all, all you folks out there that have the back orders, and if you'd like to get a, uh, a pre-order in, you know, there's still time. But it's a great product, great solution. We're excited to finally uh, have that thing going out the door. All right, thanks so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure, Chuck. Anytime. Always enjoy this. All right, we'll, we'll talk to you again soon. For sure. <laughs> Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We're at NAB in Las Vegas. We'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.